a lot of things that I like to listen to um, extra uh, or extracurricularly, that is. Um, I'm big into jazz stuff, a lot of classical, although I, I play very little, if, if not no classical, but I play a lot of jazz. I really like to use different, different cool chord progressions and chords and stuff and, and uh, kind of gel it together with a um, with like a more simpler melody or something more bluesy. If there's a lot going on underneath, you can do a lot less and it says a lot more. As my dad calls it, where is he? There is that guy. He calls it creating your own weather. And I think it's a brilliant term. Um, so always create your own weather. Um, if you're only chugging on one chord, it's great to throw everything at it. It's great to throw all the weird scales, all the weird bends, all the weird nuances. You can do, you can do anything. First, I'd like to just talk a little bit about practicing because um, as of recent, I really got back into um, practicing a bunch of new stuff and just kind of getting your head out of your own ass with touring and all that kind of stuff, you know, and having a moment to breathe away from Avenged Sevenfold. You come and, and sit at home for a little bit. And you're like, oh my God, I play guitar. It's not just about this or that. So I started playing a lot. And I just, it really gave me a renaissance to my passion for guitar. And I just started just taking a look at all these guys doing a bunch of different crazy shit. I found that jam tracks are essential. You know, you just, uh, it really gets your mind going and it really sharpens the wits. So, and it's all about applying these new things and it's cool because in the confines of your own, and comfort of your own home, you can really practice this stuff. It doesn't matter who's watching. Um, you can fuck up all over the place and you're, and you're good. Don't forget about the chords, because they're, they're that, that foundation, that's your support. That's gonna really lift up and heighten what's happening under it. It's actually a trick, sort of, and a lot of people aren't in the metal and rock genre playing blues scales like this. Um, and that's where I, I lean towards like the great jazz and fusion guys, like uh, Frank Gambali, and then there's Holdsworth, Alan Holdsworth who's the legato master, and those guys are full of arpeggios and unbelievable melodic ideas. I like to really explore different types of things and take odd, weird jazz fusion type things and different elements of different um, types of music and really integrate it into Avenged Sevenfold. I think it's extremely important. It'll always sound like a metal band, you know, it's always going to come through that filter or whatever you're, wh whoever you are or whoever you guys are collectively as a band, kind of let that type of thing inspire you. Thank you.